everyone so this video is going to be my end of May updates and I'm gonna start with some new acquisitions so this is Brassia Rex seedlings our orchid society had a culture class on deflasking and one of the plants they had was Brassia Rex so I have a couple in here so there's this biggish one which has this offshoot uh, and then this really tiny one there uh, they should be big enough to be potted up properly, but I'm too lazy, which is why they're still in this container. And this one is Leptodes poloensis. It's quite a miniature, but I really like the flowers and, and it's not a very common plant, so I'd like to have this. And this is a Shinorchis juncifolia purple cross with pink. This is actually two plants. Um, yeah, when I ordered it, they were two, but they were stuck together, so they're kind of planted separately on this um, tree fern. Alrighty, and now back to my existing plants. Now this is Palantantheria tenoglossum, and I had this on the cool log before. The problem is, not, not sure if you can tell, but this used to be a lot longer. So the bottom part just started to dry out and die off. So I, so I took it off the cool log and I just cut off that part. And I also took off the cakey as well. I might put this back on the cool log or I might use tree fern. Or I might use tree fern for this one and put this one back on the cool log. Um, I haven't really decided yet. So it's kind of just sitting on my kitchen counter. You can kind of see on the bigger one, there's some spots, probably fungal issues. I have sprayed it down and I don't think it's spreading too much, but that's an issue with this plant. This one seems okay so far. This is Cygnoches peruvianum and you can see there's a little bit, little signs of life at the bottom there. On the taller growth, I did see a bump, but it's hard to tell if it's actually anything because it's underneath the layer of, well, that leaf layer. But I know for sure it's growing on this one. But on the smaller one also, I don't know why, but you can see the top part is being consumed. I don't think it's rot. Hopefully it'll be alive enough so that that bottom growth can grow properly. This one is Dorochylus fasciatus. Nothing to note other than I've sort of changed the position a little bit. I have it more sideways just so it's a bit more directly under the, under the light as opposed to against the wall. And this is my Aridae Sulatiana and it's in spike and the buds are still looking healthy, which is good. And this is my Arido Centrum Guga Keiki that I cut off. No signs of fungus or anything, so that's great. I noticed that there's something growing at the bottom there, but I'm not sure what it is yet. And this is Bullfilum Pectinatum, and its new growth is doing pretty okay. Um, I keep this pretty moist just to encourage the root growth. And this one is Anitokylis Roxburgii Milky Way. So basically what happened was the plant was super leggy and I think it had a spider mite problem. So I took a cutting of the plant because I wanted it to grow properly. And I put that cutting in water and wherever the nodes were, um, once they pushed out new root tips, I put it back in the pot. So that's the stage um, it's at now. And I just put it in I think yesterday or the day before so it's still pretty new in the pot it doesn't look super good but i think it'll be okay to recover this is my bullfilum euthyense and it's pushing out quite a few new growths uh, the problem with these small coologs is they dry out super quick so i've been spraying this more or less every day and keeping this topped up because before i would just let it dry out but i think it's better to keep it topped up and this is my Renanthera monachica. I think last time I said I was thinking about cutting off the crown, but I decided not to do that. I did spray it down with a fresh batch of uh, antifungal spray. So 
I mean, it still looks terrible, but it looks like it hasn't really spread to the rest of the plant. So I think it's making a recovery. And this is my Dendrobium bulleculum. The older plant is pushing out a new growth and the newer plant hasn't been doing anything. So some good news on my Paraphilinopsis Leicocchii. I think it's making a recovery. I don't see any new roots and I haven't pulled it out of the pot to check, but I've been putting marks on the longer leaf just to track the growth of this newer leaf and you can see that it is actually growing, so that's a good sign. And this is Dendrobium igneonivium, and the latest growth it has more or less died. I'm not sure why. It's not just the leaves, but the kind of like the top part is there's nothing there. I think it might have to do with spider mite, so I did spray it down. Uh, the rest of the plant seems okay though. And this is my LC Supersonic Striking Lip. And its latest growth is looking pretty thick, which is great. I do keep a little bit of water uh, in the tray. And I think that helps a little bit with just keeping it hydrated because it gets so warm in here. And this is my Galeotia Fimbriata. I sometimes think about just getting rid of it. Um, it grows, but it doesn't do great for me anymore. I'm not sure why. I'm wondering if it just doesn't like the semi-hydro. Actually, maybe I should repot it. Anyway, this, it looks rotten, but it's firm. So the pseudobulb's being used up and it is pushing out a new growth there. This is Catacidium spitzii red and it's pushing out its new growth. I think I said I was going to repot it, but I'm too lazy, so I'm just going to keep it in here for this growth cycle. And this is Cloesia rebecca northern micabi, and it's pushing out a new growth. And this is Catlia mossiae, it's also pushing out a new growth. Actually, there's two. Um, this plant seems to be always active. Uh, it does have a couple still green sheaths on a couple of the pseudobulbs, so... I mean, I don't think anything's going to happen with those, but just something to point out. And this is LC Mini Purple Princess Road. Has a couple new growth on it. Uh, it's crawling out of the pot, but I'm not going to repot it right now. And this is Dendrobium chapayense. And for some reason, this has gone downhill. So it's split into two parts. This one is totally gone. And whatever new growth was here is gone. I can see this leaf looks not alive. Uh, I might try, I don't have any smaller pots, but I should probably repot this in a smaller pot. Or I might just throw it out, I'm not sure. And this is Catacidum gladiatorium across with Barbatum. Has a new growth there. Hasn't really done much, but uh, I still have lots of time. This is Galeandria barii, and it's pushing at new growth. I still haven't watered it yet. I feel like I should do that soon. I don't remember if I need to treat it like the other catacetinae where you just wait for the roots to grow a certain length or if I can water it earlier. I know in the past I've watered it earlier and it was fine. So I need to look into that again. This is Catlia Shilleriana and it's pushing out a new growth. And this is Cloesia Amazonica. I was checking the other side for a new growth, but actually it pushed out a new growth here, which is great. We're still in May, so we have lots of time. I was a bit worried it would sprout a new growth much later in the year, so this is good. This is Dendrobium tobiense. Ever since I put it back in moss, it's pushed out tons of new growth, so I think this was a good decision. And this is Catlia tangerine fire and it has two new growths, so this is on its way to recovery. This is Leptodes bicolor, it has six buds on it. It's still waiting for it to bloom. This is RYC Taiwan Firecracker Era, and it's pushing out two new growths. And this is my Fel Fimbriata, and I have three and four flowers on it so far, so. This is a oldie but goodie in my collection. 
This is my Chysis aurea. It blooms for me. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to take video of the flowers, but for some reason I have a seed pod and I'm not really sure what to do with it. I'm going to see if someone in the society wants to keep it. Otherwise, I'm just going to chuck it because I don't have time to do the um, flasking and whatever. And I'm also just lazy. I just want to see the flowers. And this is my Venda Pamela, and I actually have three potential spikes on this plant. But they haven't really done much, so um, I'm kind of just slowly waiting. And this is my Venda Robligiana, and it looks like it's pushing out a flower spike. And this is my Rudolfiella saxicola. And today I decided to have it hanging by the window, so it's in its new spot. It does have a new growth, which I thought was maybe not doing well because it was kind of like brownish, blackish in color, but it's actually fine. Oh, one thing you'll notice is I used to have a foul Young Ho Gelb Canary here. It had this weird streaking on its leaves and it just looked really suspicious, so I decided just to toss it. Um, I don't think it's a very rare plant, so I'm okay with that. And this is my Stenhopia Negrovillacea Batman. I think I'm doing pretty well with it. It's pushing out a lot of roots around the bottom and has another new growth there, which is good. So I think this potentially has a good chance of blooming this year. Alrighty, so that's my video for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!